one of the things I thought in the beginning was that at some point it would get better. At some point it would get easier. And I finally accepted that the trail was never going to be easy. Well, the Appalachian Trail runs for 2,200 miles from Maine to Georgia. Jennifer Farr Davis did it in just seven weeks, the fastest time in history. Jennifer has been featured in the New York Times, the Washington Post, NPR's Talk of the Nation, and ESPN. She is certainly a preeminent long-distance hiker. Having set several records for trekking a variety of trails on six continents, Jennifer was also nominated by National Geographic as one of the top ten adventurers of 2012. But I will never forget what it felt like to hike through the Smokies in a blizzard with one eye frozen shut. I recognized how important it was to have vision and have direction. And the other thing I realized finally was that the trail didn't care what I wanted. The trail was innately difficult and I could not control it, but I could change my attitude and I could change my expectations. When you're trying to cover 50 miles a day for days and weeks on end, it really has very little to do with how fast you can run or how big your muscles are. It's about efficiency, it's about strategy, and it's about teamwork. So if you can't work more than the person next to you or the company across town, the one thing you're gonna have to do is work smarter and to know where you're going and to be more efficient. It is hard work. It is. It is not always going to be fun. But that doesn't mean that it won't be rewarding. That doesn't mean that it won't result in personal growth and also growth of your company. It's work worth doing with people who are very smart and very talented. And there is always a way to keep going. Roadblocks are always an opportunity to define a new path. She sort of bears her soul, and that draws you in. She's an incredible storyteller, so you begin to understand how she's thinking about things because she gives you a framework for challenge and for one's approach to something that one doesn't know whether you're capable of doing it. She inspired us to think about things proactively.